It's 3 in the morning, you stumble into your kitchen for a midnight snack, flip on the light, and there it is, a cockroach the size of your thumb, staring you down like it owns the place. And here's the terrifying truth, it probably does. While you're sleeping soundly in your bed, an ancient empire is conducting business in the shadows of your home, running operations that would make any Fortune 500 company jealous. We're talking about creatures that have been perfecting the art of survival for over 300 million years. To put that in perspective, cockroaches were scuttling around when your ancestors were still fish with legs, figuring out how to walk on land. They watched the dinosaurs rise and fall like a boring Netflix series they'd already seen. And when that asteroid hit Earth 66 million years ago, wiping out everything bigger than a small dog, cockroaches just shrugged and kept on keeping on. But here's where it gets really wild. You know that urban legend about cockroaches surviving nuclear war? Well, it's not exactly a legend. These little tanks can withstand radiation levels that would turn you into a puddle of regret faster than you can say, Chernobyl. Well, humans start getting sick at around 500 rads of radiation. Cockroaches can party through 6-400 rads without breaking a sweat. Some species can even handle up to 100,000 rads. That's 20 times more than what would kill every human on Earth. Scientists tested this during the Cold War because, apparently, someone thought it was important to know who'd be running the show after we all nuked ourselves into oblivion. They exposed cockroaches to radiation levels that would make Godzilla nervous. And these armored little survivors just kept doing cockroach things, eating garbage, making baby cockroaches, and plotting world domination. Speaking of babies, let's talk about cockroach reproduction, because it's both fascinating and absolutely horrifying. A single female German cockroach, the tiny ones that somehow always end up in your kitchen, can produce up to 400 offspring in her lifetime. But here's the kicker, she doesn't even need a male to do it. Some female cockroaches can reproduce through parthenogenesis, which is basically virgin birth for insects. They're like tiny, six-legged Virgin Marys, except instead of bringing peace on Earth, they're bringing chaos to your pantry. And once they move in, good luck getting rid of them. Cockroaches can live for a month without their heads. Not because they're particularly attached to their heads but because they don't breathe through their mouths like we do. They breathe through tiny holes called spiracles located all over their bodies. Their brains are distributed throughout their bodies. So losing their head is more like losing their smartphone inconvenient, but not exactly life-threatening. They usually die after a week or so, but only because they can't drink water without their mouths. These creatures are also speed demons. The American cockroach can run up to 3 miles per hour, which might not sound impressive until you realize that's equivalent to a human running 200 miles per hour. They can also fly, because apparently God has a sense of humor. Nothing quite says, nightmare fuel, like a 2-inch cockroach dive, bombing your face at midnight. But wait, there's more. Cockroaches are basically the ninjas of the insect world. They can flatten their bodies to squeeze through cracks thinner than a quarter. They're masters of hide and seek, with some species able to remain motionless for hours, waiting for the perfect moment to dash across your kitchen floor and scar you for life. They can detect air movements from up to six feet away, which means they know you're coming long before you know they're there. Here's something that'll keep you up at night. Cockroaches are surprisingly social creatures. They make decisions collectively like tiny, disgusting democracies. Scientists have observed them voting on where to set up camp, with groups of cockroaches somehow reaching consensus about the best hiding spots. They leave chemical trails for their buddies, essentially creating roach highways throughout your home. It's like they're running their own transportation system while you're paying rent. And if you think you can starve them out, think again. Cockroaches can survive for weeks without food, living off their own body fat like the ultimate preppers. They're not picky eaters either. They'll munch on everything from your leftover pizza to the glue on your book bindings, dead skin cells, hair, fingernails, and even each other if times get tough. They're basically the ultimate recyclers, turning your household waste into more cockroaches. Some species are even showing signs of developing immunity to our best pesticides. It's like they're evolving in real time, adapting to every chemical weapon we throw at them. 
German cockroaches in particular have developed resistance to multiple classes of insecticides, sometimes within just a few generations. They're essentially becoming superhuman, or should I say, super roach. But here's the plot twist that nobody sees coming cockroaches might actually be helping us more than we realize. In their natural habitats, they're nature's cleanup crew, decomposing organic matter and recycling nutrients back into the ecosystem. Some species are even being studied for potential medical applications. Scientists have discovered that cockroach brains produce powerful antibiotics that can kill dangerous bacteria, including MRSA. So while you're plotting their demise, they might hold the key to saving human lives. The truth is, cockroaches are probably going to outlive us all. Climate change, they'll adapt. Nuclear winter, they've got that covered. Asteroid impact, been there, done that. While we're worried about our carbon footprint and melting ice caps, cockroaches are just waiting patiently for their moment to inherit the Earth. So the next time you see one scurrying across your kitchen floor, maybe tip your hat to the little guy. After all, you're looking at one of Earth's most successful life forms, a creature that's been perfecting the art of survival since before your species even existed. They're the ultimate survivors, the real-life terminators of the insect world. And they're probably going to be here long after we're gone. In a world obsessed with finding life on Mars, we've got aliens right here in our own homes, creatures so perfectly adapted to survival that they make every other species look like amateurs. They're not just pests, they're living proof that sometimes being small, fast, and incredibly hard to kill is the ultimate evolutionary strategy. And who knows, maybe in a few million years, when the next intelligent species evolves on Earth, they'll find fossilized evidence of humans and wonder how we ever managed to coexist with such perfectly designed survival machines. The roaches, meanwhile, will still be there scuttling around in the shadows, probably having a good laugh about the whole thing.